Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review, swatch video, and comparison of the new Kylie Cosmetics uh, Kai Shadow Palette, the Burgundy one. So the burgundy palette so this retails for $42 on kyliecosmetics.com I'll leave a link below plus shipping it roughly comes out to about $50 and I think 95 cents around that range so I actually picked this up the first time she actually did her release which I felt so lucky about I'm like oh my god I feel amazing right now so I did have quite some time to play around with it since I actually received it about I don't know two weeks ago I played around with it since then so once you actually take it out of the package, the actual package is nothing special. It's just regular, you know, nothing too major. And then the back, it says Kylie XO, XO. And then it just says the actual um, ingredients. And then it just also says made in the USA, which is awesome. So you just take this out of the package and that's how it looks. Just like that. Fairly simple, nothing too drastic or major. And then you have the names of the shades back here. So if you guys are familiar with the um, a bronze palette, I actually picked this up as well it's pretty much the same exact package but different colors inside so um, once you open this up this is how the interior part looks it does say Kylie here and then you are receiving nine shadows and this is how they look so of course this palette is called the burgundy palette hence why there are so many burgundy shades in here but this is pretty much a like typical regular everyday kind of palette that you could use you know, for school, for work, and stuff like that. So this palette does contain a mixture of matte shades, a mixture of like shimmer shades, and like I would say one like more of a satin type of shade. So you are getting a nice mix up and round up of like different finishes. So I'm gonna get started with the actual swatches first so you guys can see how they swatch and what the pigmentation is like. And then I'm gonna start with my actual personal thoughts, review, and stuff like that. So here are the first three shades that I'm going to swatch. This is the first row. So you do have this one right over here which is basically a I would say satin kind of like bone shade and then you have this one right over here which is a really nice kind of like camel matte color like camel type of color you know okay and then we have this shade right over here which is like your deepened burnt orange which is matte as well so these are the first three shades included all right then we're down to the next three shades so these are the three middle shades um, this is the first one in the middle section, which is a beautiful bronzy shimmer color. Then we have this one, which is a typical burgundy color. And that is a matte. It does swatch a little bit streaky, so that's something to keep in mind. Then we have this one, which is just a, an amazing, like, deepened burgundy shimmer shade as well. So... Those are the first six shades, and then we're down to the last three colors. All right, so here are the three last and final shades included in this palette. So we have this one right over here, which looks just like that. That's just like a nice eggplant matte shade. Then we have this one, which is a beautiful bronze, kind of like a rum raisin shimmer color. Then the last and final shade we do have is this one, which is just a regular typical brown color so here are the nine swatches of all the shades that are included in this actual palette you guys could see a mixture of finishes mainly mattes and shimmer shades included so now on to my review of this actual palette i feel like there are those three kinds of people first kind of person is someone who's absolutely in love with kylie and you know needs to have this in their life the middle person is someone who feels like should i get this i just want something good for my collection something for every single day is this something for me then we have the other people who just really don't like Kylie and just feel like what the hell is wrong with her? Why should I pay this amount of money for a palette that looks like everything else? And I mean, obviously I'm paying for the name. So you have those three kinds of people. So I'm going to actually review the palette, not Kylie per se. So first of all, obviously you are paying for the name. Like that's with every makeup brand I would say. That's why YSL and Dior and all those like high-end brands are more expensive because you are paying for the luxurious name. I wouldn't say this is luxurious to the most part, but I will say that it is high-end. I mean, she made it high-end, so I guess it is. I personally think that the quality of this palette is really, really nice. I wouldn't say it's, oh my god, amazing. Every single one of you need to go out right now and get it because you are missing out. Not really. I think that the colors in here are beautiful. The color selection is really, really nice. I think that the quality is great as well. The mattes are a little bit, I would say, patchier. Not, oh my god, extreme. But they blend out so nicely on the lids. And that's essentially what's important in a palette. Not really how they swatch, but how they really apply on the eyes. And I love the look that came out today. And anytime I did use this, the look usually came out very, very nice. Very easy to blend and just easy to work with, like one, two, three styles. So... 
If you're someone who wants to get a really nice neutralized palette that has more like burgundy shades in it, I think that this palette is amazing. I'm personally someone who loves burgundy shades because I feel like it does go very well with my eye color and it just brings out more of the brownness in it. So I personally love these kind of shades, especially this particular one. It's just perfect. So if you're someone who's looking for something that you could use every single day, no fuss, just something small, one, two, three, work kind of look or school kind of look, this is something for you and maybe you should look into it. However, if you do have the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, this is Pretty similar, I would say. A lot of Morphe palettes do have similar tones to these shadows as well. So just have that in mind. And of course, you know, you're paying for the name too. If you're someone who is just contemplating and just wanted to know, is it good or is it not? It's good. It is. Like, it is pretty good. And I think that the quality is really, really nice. Very easy to work with and something that I really adore and love. And honestly, if it wouldn't take Kylie there and it would just say like, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills and it would be the price that it is, people would still buy it because a lot of people do love Anastasia, you know? But Kylie, I feel like it's a very controversial topic. Do you know what I mean? So in general, I think this is a really great palette. They do apply beautifully on and it's a no fuss kind of game, you know? I actually also did pick up the, um, what is this called? The bronze palette. I didn't have much of a chance to play with this one in particular, but if I had to choose one, it would definitely be the burgundy one just because I like the tones and the shades in here so much more. Um, this is the comparison. This is the bronze one and this is the burgundy one. Both of them do have a few of them that are pretty similar in like tone, but not like exactly. Um, what I do wish that she would have included in this specific palette is a shade to actually set the primer. There isn't any shade here that you could use like as your base color. So that's something that I do wish you would have included because it would have been 100% complete. But still, even though we don't have that in here, it's still a really, really good palette. Well, the packaging is not like my cup of tea. Like this is cute, but I think it's a little bit more on the cheaper side. Uh, nonetheless, I think it's nice and I'm very, very happy with my purchase. So I do hope that this video did help at least one or a few of you guys make your decision on if you want to get this or not. Again, I would choose the burgundy one over the bronze one any day because I do love the tones in there much more. But uh, let me know what you guys personally think about this if you're on the Kylie bandwagon or if you feel like, oh, it's so overpriced, overhyped and whatever. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.